So I said to her one day, I said, look, if you want to talk to me about it, wait till I'm straight. Don't do it when I'm stoned. Come on. Don't spoil my buzz. And I said, look, you keep it up and you're going to be gone. You know, I was smoking pot long before I met you. I was smoking pot when I met you. I've smoked pot since, I, since we hooked up. And you keep this shit up, I'll be smoking pot long after you're gone. She's gone. I just kept on smoking pot. My partner who was with me at the time when she was arrested, <clears throat> she'll never ever recover from what she's been through, what she's seen. I had relationships where um, people wanted to get close to me and that would bring that up again and they'd really want to find out a bit more about me and I'd just be filled with this fear and I thought I've got to get, I've got to get away, I can't allow myself to open up. I can't allow myself to trust anybody. And so I would just be avoiding and avoiding and avoiding and only putting myself in situations where there were only going to be shallow connections. I just got to a moment of clarity where I realised, I don't know, I felt more lucid than I had been in months and I suddenly looked at the people around me and I was like, wow, these people don't have any good intentions for me. These people are actually hurting me, um, specifically the boyfriend that I was with. Just seeing what it's like now, different, like how my, our relationship is and the way that we speak to each other and stuff, it's like, fuck, this is what I wanted. I finally got there, you know, and I'm still young and I can still have a life. I'm just I'm glad that it's here. I'm happier now than I ever have been. I may have no friends and no money, but I don't give a shit. Mm.